Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy PJ. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yo, what's hey. going on? Stuff, stuff? Oh, that's my ad lib. I just hey. put that together. <laughs> That's nuts. What's going on, man? How we What's doing? What's going on with you, Big PJ? I'm chilling, brother. I am chilling. Um, glad to see you. Yeah, glad to talk with you, man. Get the people hip, right? Fact. All right. So, yeah. Star Child, where did you grow up, brother? Everywhere, boy. The highway, for real. But started in Boston. I was born there. Then hit the road, moved to Far River. Stayed there till I was like two, three. Went back to Boston. Went to school there. Shit got kind of shaky. Mm. Came back to Fall River and made it home. Word. How was that like adjusting to different environments and just, you know, ultimately moving here and there? I had a lot of family everywhere, so I wasn't really like outside like that. Yeah. I was just, I was places, but like I was with, like, feel me? People was it easy to knew. adapt though? Yeah. Yeah. I was just, it was like, it was like, Figuring out how to be me in a different place, not really figuring out the place, you feel me? Yeah. So I figured it out. Word. Um, how did you how did you how did the music find you? Like you know, when did you develop your passion for music? I could tell you so many stories, bro, but like the first first time I knew like I had an affinity for that shit, it was like a car ride with my parents. It was like two hours, but to, when you were a kid that shit's like twelve. <laughs> So I was back there. My dad played like four CDs straight. And one of them was like Bone Crusher and DMX. And that shit was just like, no, that shit sounds. So I was like, damn, like this is my shit. I'm like, I had no teeth. I'm like, I can't even speak, can't read, nothing. But yeah. that shit, I knew how to recite. And then like, it got to a point where like, yeah, that was my shit. Like, I'm yeah. Man, when that CD come on, I'm, I'm DMX and Bone Crusher every trip. Heard. And then like, I got to school and shit, and we started doing the, the, the performances and shit, and I was just shining, like low key. Mm. And I was like, you know what? Let me, let me, let me give myself the to concerts. This shit. Yeah. Okay. Like the little chicken hats and shit. You yeah. Know shit. yeah. <laughs> what songs were you performing on, on stage? Um, we did fucking "We Are Family." Okay. I did the Crip Walk and shit. I was on some other shit, bro. Oh. It was, yo, that shit was lit. That shit was crazy. Or I like you. I, if there's footage, somebody got somebody <laughs> got put that shit out. That what, was crazy. What made you feel like you should, you know, make your own music? I ain't gonna lie, my uncle. Like besides me, well, I gotta obviously if niggas don't know. My last name is Devoe, like the famous one. That's like my real blood cousin. But oh, okay. Like, he was famous before I was even in the picture type shit. Yeah. So, feel me? Like, but it's in your genes. Yeah, you feel me? It's so in like jeans. exactly. So it was always there. And then my uncle, he was like, I could see him doing that shit. Like, he would, like, be fighting with girls, arguing with girls and shit. Or he'd be going to get some weed or something. He'll mm. leave his computer unattended. And me and my uncle would be fucking with the Fruity Loops. Oh, so he used to make music, too? Yeah, that okay. shit was, like, Fruity Loops, like, three, though. Yeah. Like, that shit was hella old. And I would just play, like, X, D, R, the same notes. I remember that shit from, like, 15 years ago. Yeah. Like, the same shit over and over again. And I'm like, all right, this is what I, all right, all right, bet, bet. He was your like, biggest influencer growing up? Pretty much, yeah, that nigga was, like, to me, that was, like, the best rapper I could ever think of. Like, yeah. That nigga was going crazy on everything, anytime, anywhere, any way. Like, mm. Just, that's how he was coming. And that kind of trend carried over with me, you feel me? I was yeah. like, if I can't top that, then I can't do this, you feel me? I hear you. So. I know, correct me if I'm wrong, we've had conversations before, but you said that you also produced? Yeah. That's so. kind of, like, I started, before I was really writing music or rapping and shit, like, besides on the CDs and shit. I was trying to like play piano and shit instruments wise. Mm. I was on keyboards. I played fucking French horn, not to jack nobody. St I think one of y'all niggas was talking about that. Oh yeah, you and him was talking about y'all. Um, what was you and Sal? Yeah, you and Sal was talking about the, the band and shit. Yep. But I only did that shit like one year. But other than that, on my own, I was really on the piano and I kind of like taught myself how to play songs and shit. Word. And I learned notes and shit. And I'm like, all right. It was really like, I learned a lot of shit backwards the whole time. It was weird as hell. And I'm like, all right, I know how to do this shit the whole time. Yeah. Did you end up um, making beats for yourself? Like, you know, some that, you know, are in the vault right now that, you know? At right now? Hell yeah, for sure. Okay. There's a lot of, well, I can't say there's a lot of songs. I'll be capping because I only have like one out, two out. But there's ones that's coming out that I, I they, him or Benson or KZ's him or Benson didn't touch. And they just really like mastered it type yeah. shit. So. I'm confident, like, 
I ain't like no, I ain't nobody sad or nothing, but like I could, I could, I could get busy. At the, yeah, hit the notes. Okay. Um, so what made you feel like you should should um actually write music and you know vocalize it, put it onto another level? I guess you could say. No bullshit. This is gonna sound weird as hell, but like literature. Like when I was growing up, before oh, some like rock stuff, huh? No bullshit. Like I was just. Like a bookworm, I was always into knowledge, knowing shit. I didn't want to be the kid who didn't know the answer type shit. Fair. I was a little dickhead when I was little because of that, but like it paid off because yeah. I kind of mellowed out. But that's what it really was. Like if there was some shit to know, I had to know it. Like they was like, "What's this or what's that?" I had to be like, "Oh, that's the like yep. you know." So like that and like just being fascinated by the shit I was actually learning because I obviously knew most niggas didn't care. Nigga, they was trying to do recess, eat the gummy worms, <laughs> oh, God. nap time and shit. Yeah. But I was really trying to like get to the cut like point. Well, this is at a young age we're talking. Yeah, hell yeah. And okay. Then I started to like, you know, I could do this shit on my free time, so I'm gonna, you know, do my thing. And then Dr. Seuss changed your life. Changed my life, <laughs> boy. Dr. Seuss changed the game. No mm. bullshit. I'm like, all right, this shit's rapping. This nigga's rapping to me in a book. <laughs> Went yeah. Crazy. Went so crazy. I heard that. Um, SoundCloud. Let's talk about it. Virtuoso. You went by that. I know one of the songs that were notable to me was Industry Invasion. I absolutely enjoyed that track. Um, Appreciate you. Looking and reflecting back on those singles, I guess you can say, mm -hmm. you know, how, how do you feel about them? Industry Invasion, that's like my pride and joy. Like, that was the first one where I really got to like talk my shit. Mm -hmm. like, compared to where I'm at now, that's just like, like, yeah. I wouldn't even I would probably write that shit and give it to somebody or like one of my little cousins or some shit. But yeah. That shit at the time, like sophomore year, that shit was niggas knew, oh this nigga, he's like hey, people be rapping but he can rap. So mm. like I right. but that's what I was really doing, like industry invasion, like I was just remixing shit, yeah. just trying to prove that I could like lyricize and shit. Yep. But like at a certain point I was just like, nigga, I'm making music for me, so like fuck all that shit. Yep. I'm gonna make a song I wanna hear. Man. From there. Growth, yeah, growth. Um, how important is it? How important was it for you to rebrand yourself? That was like at the time, like it was necessary because, like I said, like the a lot of the music that I had before I released it mm. wasn't gonna match what I did in sophomore year. Was it the numbers or was it the fact that you just felt like it was just time to change things? That exactly, like it was just time to rebrand, reboot, like refresh. Mm do everything over again type shit i was gonna redo the songs because i liked them that much and they just sat on me for a while and i was like fuck that shit just delete them and mm. i kept industry invasion because like that's that my, one like, of my favorites definitely that. have to check that out if you haven't already it's on soundcloud <laughs> sure. um but what made you feel like you needed to change your name to star child what what's the meaning behind star child that's all i'm gonna say don't let it go over your head okay well y'all got it Above the sky, highest in the room, right? It's a fact. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> get it somewhere. We get it somewhere. Word. Um, now let's talk about your relationship with KZ. For sure. You guys have a bond that you know I honestly can't. It's like a, I don't know. It's not even like you know Robin and Batman. It's like you guys are unison. You guys are like one. Um, so so what is it about y'all relationship that makes it so special? I feel like I don't know. With me. When I connect with people, it's like very seldom. Like I got a lot of people that know me and shit. Like I got friends and acquaintances, but like mm. people I consider family and shit is rare. It got to be like a type of like a certain type of relationship. Yeah. And him, like, it was weird. We met like years ago. Was something. it? Correct me if I'm wrong, but was it through dance? Yeah. Yeah. Like it was at the boys and girls club. I just seen this goofy looking ass kid though. Like, yo, that's, but he was dancing. Like I was like, damn, like you got really the moves? moving. Yeah. Like he was like like if we did a dance battle right now, I'd I'm be losing. Moving. I'm he's killing me. Okay. So that off of that alone I wasn't I was never a hater. So I had to, to do go that. tell him that. Like, yeah. yo, yeah. We, nice, we're doing that bro. after. You, gotta, you know that, right? Ooh. I bet. Ooh. Alright. Alright. I'll get anybody in this room, He's not losing. He's not losing. Yeah. Go, go check the records. Like he's like that. For real, winning championships and all that. And I witnessed this. So I'm like, yo, this, I got to tune in. He's artistic type yeah. shit. Like, that was just what my mind was on. Just like, So you already knew from the get-go. Like, even with him dancing, you like, yeah, yeah he's like, got he's something. Yeah, he's on this. He knows something. Okay. Like, so, like, I approached him and shit. 
and it was just genuine on some laughing shit. Yeah. Like, comedy, that's the quickest way to connect with people for real. Like laughing and shit, positive shit. Mm-hmm. So, like we was just laughing, vibing. Then we played a beat, we was just like jamming and shit. But we're in the middle of the boys and girls club. Like <laughs> yeah. it's like two o'clock, niggas is doing all type of shit. Like we just vibing. Like, but that's when I knew like nigga this be you over life. all. Like, yeah. And that too, like this 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 dude right here, like this is somebody like I see. In my future, no gay shit. Yeah, like, this is my boy. Like, <laughs> like, what did he? Uh, what did he? Ex- how did he express to you that he produced? Like, how did you even react to that? He was like, like, what was your reaction to him ultimately? Years later, when I forgot he even existed, cause <laughs> I started smoking and shit. Yeah, somebody was like, "Yo, you ever heard of KZ?" Da 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 da. I was like, "Who's that?" It was like, "Oh, he goes to Durfee." Da 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 da. So I'm like, "Wow, well, everybody go to Durfee, but mm-hmm. I never heard of him." And like. Started connecting dots, started meeting more people. I met my boy Shanti. Shout out Shanti Burke, King Brizzle, I think, whatever his thing is. But um, we just linked outside of school one day. And he told me, oh, it's Elijah Coleman, da, 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 da. that's my boy KZ. I'm like, oh, Eli, you talking about dancing, Eli? That nigga make music? He was like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I, why am I the last person hearing about this? He was like, oh, da, da, da. he been making beats for a while, da, da. he be recording niggas this, that, and the third. I'm like, oh, we got to do that. He's really the one who connected us, like, yep. on this. So, my like, right. So, one day, we went to the projects. It was cold as hell. He was in the basement. But it was, like, organized. Like, it had a little booth. It was, like, shit, the shit was <laughs> right. Everything, so yeah. It was comfortable. Okay. So, we was down there. And I see, I'm just like, I'm like, yo, this is Eli, bro. Like, He's this single was yeah. dancing with the little ass shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day, bro. This is my dog. <laughs> <laughs> and just off that, like, it was genuine, right? Just that spark again. Like, yeah. oh, yeah, remember da, 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 da. We remembered the song we was trying to dance to and shit. It was crazy. What song was it, if you don't remember? Yeah. I know it was some dubstep shit for sure, but okay. I can't exactly remember. And it was only funny because the song kept skipping, and it was this weird-ass sound uh, it was making, and that shit was hilarious. <laughs> I can't remember it. That definitely ruined the vibe, though. I had to have ruined the vibe. No kizzy. It was, it not honestly, bro, it was just funny as hell. Like, we was we was already just, like, on some giddy shit. Yeah. And then that shit happened, and that just sent it over the top. Like, <laughs> this shit's crazy. Word. So how was that experience, like, working with him for the first time? Smooth like butter, like. When he showed me, like, like, at first I was like, you got, like, he was showcasing like what he's done type mm-hmm. shit what I missed pretty much and like it was damn near there like at the time when we didn't like before all this shit like it was we had everything we needed like I'm like fuck all the the studios and pain and all this shit I got my boy right here if you need bread he got it mm-hmm. I'm saying we just here to create and every song I make I'm gonna put him on it it's gonna be his beat da 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 yep. one hand watching the other type shit but like in real life like artistically he was up there like no kizzy yeah just original on his own shit like back then so i'm like yo this is they gonna remember this shit and i gotta be a part of this like somehow some way but like not like overshadowing but like you said together type shit yeah and from there it's quick yeah over with now let's fast forward to evil right evil drops um one of my favorite hits by you so far right from this this new version new star child right um how was that like putting that out? And I know it also entered in some playlists as well, right? Some New England media platform playlists. That was crazy. Yeah, it was a New, it was a New was, England Top 50. It was, it was yeah. Name? Yeah, New England Top 50, you entered in that. That's just something small, but there's more to come, right? Um, it's a fact. But as far as evil. Much more. Yeah. As far as evil goes, though, what was the mindset, you know, um, when you approached making that song? Like, What was the vibe like? You want me to make it interesting or you want me to tell the truth? Tell the truth. Bro, that shit was a joke, like a rough cut type shit. And it was just hard. It was like, yo, do that shit again for the chorus. I'm talking about the Eva. Like yeah. that part. Eva. I was just joking type <laughs> shit, like warming my voice up. And it was like, yo, that shit stick. Like when it's him, like if it's yeah. when he, something. It's yeah. either this or this. So I'm like, right, <laughs> he did this. So I'm like, right, I gotta do that. So we hit the record button and then we just built it. Just like that. Yeah. What was the inspiration behind making Evil? It was kind of like another rebirth, but like inside of like what I already became, if that makes sense. Mm. Like, I changed the name, but I had to change like the the sound, the look, the person. The, what was the, the original words. name? Yeah, what was the original name? Virtuoso, slash Picasso, and slash Young Picasso. It was a whole bunch. I was just posting. Oh, you talking whatever. about? Your, I thought you were talking about the name of the song. Oh, the song. It was yeah. evil. Off rip. Off rip. Off rip. Okay. 
Yeah, but go ahead. Yeah, keep going. But, um, yeah, when I was laying that shit down, like when I the whole like point I kept in mind was just, just like scary, like shock them, let them know, like after this, like it's not gonna be the same type shit. Mm. And I dropped it on Halloween. I I wanted to drop Hall- uh, Halloween, but I think it dropped the night after. But that shit was still like. Yeah. Still hit hard as fuck. Exactly. But I'm capping. It hit, it dropped the night of Halloween. Okay. Yeah. It dropped the night of Halloween and that shit. Yeah. Just hit different. Was this like, I mean, because even like the beginning, good in the hood, get critical, that's why I ride with the piece. Like, was there just a scene that you were trying to convey? Oh, yeah. Shit, like, I didn't really, I can't even really get into too much detail because <laughs> shit be crazy, but like. Was this the like yeah? Was this the lifestyle? It was like I was reflecting like on one of, like one of my men. Something had happened. He had okay. Or something. So like, oh, so you were living like basically you were preaching for oh kinda, okay. But it's like really truthfully it was kind of weird. Like I be thinking I I don't be out with a lot of shit. Yeah. Like, I be having it in my head and I translate it into a way. So there's not intentional. It's yeah. just kind of just happening. It's just yeah. So like like a lot of times growing up. There was a lot of friction between my friend groups. Everybody grew up together and shit, but you know how niggas be hostility. Out here, at least, Masculinity yeah. and shit, of course. So, like, niggas used to beef and shit, but I was, like, over here with it. Y'all niggas, feel me? We all east side. We all, you know, it's, we all from here, but, feel me? I'm doing this, and everybody's aware of that, you feel me? So, if you see me with a nigga that I grew up with that you might not like, nigga, we all grew up together. So, that shit don't got nothing to do with me. I'm going to come kick it with you after, and then I'm going to hit the curb when y'all handle that type mm-hmm. shit. You feel me? So, like. As I started to get older and shit, like, it was kind of harder to do that. Because now you got to, like, kind of pick a side. Because niggas, yeah. niggas is, like, it's just weird, bro. I, don't, I make the rules, but that's how it is. And I, you feel me, just had to move like that. Yeah. And then, and I'm good in the hood, but shit can get critical. You feel me? Yeah. So I'm, like. Always got to stick to the, yeah, stick exactly. to the code just, and just, stay paranoid. Stay ten toes, ultimately, is what it is. Just, like, you don't got to be paranoid, but you got to be ready. Yeah. Stay ready, you don't got to get ready, period. Fair. Just stay on it, be on it. So you don't gotta get on. It. Word, yeah. Um, so more collaboration pieces with KZ. You guys dropped Pirates, which the music video as we speak hit a K. How you feel about that? First of all, that shit hit a K today. We had to go for that shit to hit on Friday. Shout out my boy Love Days. Hit yes, nights. Love Days hit nights. Was shot by Love Days. Yep. Rails. That shit was crazy. I love everybody who got that shit to one K. Shout out my dog for the fucking one hundred two for the crazy feature for yeah. the concepts. All that. that so shit was dope. Let's speak about. The music video before we speak about how you guys came about making the song right so you shoot your first music video right yeah so your first music video how was that like experience was i ain't gonna hold you when i got there i was tight i was pissed i was so mad and it wasn't because of them i was i got there mad and then javi he wanted to fight that day he must have because <laughs> he got crazy with me and i was like you know what he got had that Cause I was late as fuck that day. I was I was on some artist shit. For real, oh my man. god! It was about, it was a bad day, and I came in pajamas. Like you see that shit in the yep. video. I was not lit at all. But we made it lit. You had the pirate hat on. No so, kids, yeah, that's all that mattered. You yeah. feel me? We the pirates. You feel me? So fucking like once we got into it, that's what Christian was like. You all right, bro? I'm like, you know what? I gotta be all right for you type shit. I'm good. So he was explaining what we gonna do. I'm like, all right, well, let's get into it. Like, you ready? I'm like, bro, all that shit. Gotta leave it outside the laundry, man. Yep. Like, we washing it in here. So we got to it and then just became gold. We was yeah. vibing. What was your reaction to the finished project prior to obviously hitting on the, on the to the public? I ain't gonna hold you. Like obviously people are always critical of themselves. It's just a human thing, so I was like, I don't I could've looked better in this part. I could have did more, I could have been less extra. So you were critiquing it, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then like when it came closer and I was just sitting on it and I started to watch it as a fan, I'm like, all right, this shit like look real. Like I could see this on, you know, somebody else's T V and seeing them like, Oh, okay. this is crazy. Yo, I, you gotta play that again. What do you do? Yeah. What do you do? Like like that shit was fire to me. Or I know for me personally, the most memorable moment I know a lot of people can vouch for me is when Casey said, "I take because I got titties." <laughs> He's like, my boy got titties. <laughs> and also the Kobe moment too. So it kind of looked like you were throwing up a lob, and then Kobe caught it. Am I correct? <laughs> I need bro. It yeah, was so it was dope. I, the edits was dope. Um, shout out to the boy. Yeah, shout out Love Days Hate Nights. Nice. Shout out to um, the boy. But so yeah, you dropped that. But as far as the the song goes, like what was what was the reason why you know I know Michigan was. 
you know, the Michigan music, mm-hmm. the music scene out there. It was kind of a little inspiration. I like that you say that. That's why Michigan. Michigan music. Yeah, <laughs> Michigan music. Michigan music. Detroit, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, like, I know that's an inspiration. But what made y'all feel like y'all should drop something like that? Just pure fandom. Like, he was like, yo, these niggas is hard. You got to pay homage somehow. But not biting. Mm. Just got to it. The harp, you had the harp in the back, you know. Yeah, I mean? yeah, of course. We had something. to, we had to, you feel me? We had to do it right. We yeah. had to come correct. And it's crazy because originally me and him collabed on a beat, and we laid the song and shit, and it was hard. And then like a week later, because niggas be so critical, we was like, nah. And then we got back to it, and then we was just going through shit. Like we had like it was a day where I was just like touching shit up, yep. and he was like, yo, we gotta do this. Yeah, it so it wasn't like, even gonna anticipate it to be dropped. You just exactly. Drop it was it just one of them ones like yeah, we gonna show the just friends, yeah. drop it in the group chat type shit. And yeah, let it be that. Word. And fucking. We found a sample, and that shit was like, all right, we could do something with this. Mm-hmm. It sparked something creative, niggas. So we laid it down, just put it back apart, put it back together, put the vocals back in that bitch. Bam. Bow. Yeah. Pirates. I heard that. Um, so now that obviously people know that you are on our album, by any means necessary. Stream um, that. Yeah, stream, stream that, stream that. Um, but let's talk. You know, obviously we're gonna probably do. But let's talk a little bit more about the connection building factor. I know that you, you know, ended up being close and, and caught a vibe with um, stubborn Sal, who kind of I would say you guys both resonate um, with each other. So explain more about his sound and what makes his sound so special. It's unmatched. Like one thing about everybody I fuck with, just in life or musically, artistically, athletically, what they do, it's not, it can't be recreated, it's not fabricated, it's not like, you feel me, it's not a clone or a replication or yep. a copy and paste of some other shit, it's like them, like they, what they're, they're passionate original, about, yep. what they seen and wanted you to see. And if it translates and it resonate, resonates in my head with what you thought and you translated it to something I could see and hear and feel, that shit's crazy. Mm. Like, I gotta give you your credit. And if it's hard, Come on. I'm open up. <laughs> I got to get on it. I, you yeah. don't have to fight if I can't get on that. <laughs> has really? he taught, has Stubborn taught you a lot about, you know, yourself as far as a musician? Because, you know, obviously we know you as a rapper, but now mm-hmm. as a vocalist, I mean, partner up with a guy like that, like what, what has he taught you about, you, you know, your song? First of all, he taught me to hit them high notes. <laughs> for sure. Second, like, like he said in his shit, don't, don't put a cap on it. Don't box it. You feel me? Just open it up. And go where it leads you. Yeah. Period. Word. Like, don't overthink it. Don't underthink it. Just go for it. You feel yeah. me? Leave with emotion, not thought. You feel me? You just build later. Yeah. How will you explain your virtuosity? How will you explain your versatility? Like, I can't really. It's hard. I don't want to be braggadocious and nothing. Go ahead, bro. Speak your truth. But, like, like, I don't know, like, I ain't about to discredit nobody else or nothing like that. Like, I'm about to say I'm the best not nothing like that. But when it comes to, like, like, if you look at a picture, let's say you made a picture, right? You took two years on that shit. Like, you just, well, however long you took. And then that shit, like, it was like, this took is forever, yep. my life. This is it. Right here, this is. And then you flip it around, and that shit's, like, a 7 out of 10. This is just a hypothetical situation, mm-hmm. me trying to make it short. I could be in class like this and do the fucking Mona Lisa musically. Just cause, yeah. So just everything is just shit. accidental. Now if I put my mind to some shit, it's just like unfair. Yeah. Like <laughs> where I go with shit, it's like I start on the outside, so I never have to like fight my way out of a, a corner when it comes okay. to like creativity you're not trying to focus like, on the core you're just kind of gradually building to that exactly okay like, i just be making shit by accident half the time yeah literally. Like, yeah i just feel a vibe or like something i want to get to and then i build from there to like somewhere i can grab and control it and then it's like all right let's i, I can together. vouch for you though because i've seen it firsthand no so <laughs> i've seen it firsthand so After yeah. the worst day ever too yeah. lost all the munchkins oh, oh that shit man. is terrible yeah what a day. We can, yeah, that's a, like, literally put that in the movie. It was just for real. <laughs> oh, <crazy. laughs> it was that a was crazy bad. ass day. Um, but, you know, to, to tie this all up, man, um, 
if, if given an opportunity to talk to your younger self, what would you tell your younger self? Yo, you know it's so crazy, bro? I was at work on some mad shit, thinking about like what somebody's gonna ask me if I get money, and it was that. So, honestly, bro, I'll just be like, keep going. Like, and I don't know cliche shit, but like, I knew like, I couldn't be a king the fucking barber, or a king the architect. I had to be a king the fucking- The musician. Any, like, the, what's the word? Revolutionary. Mm. Now, however that happens, shit. Like, God got that part, but I know I'ma leave myself where I can only be great, you feel me? So like, whatever you doing, whatever you set your mind to, do it. Like, don't, don't, don't get mis, mis, misguided by, by doubts and fears or second thoughts or critiques or, or people yeah. who don't see it how you see it. Like, if you know where you going, they can't tell you you walking the wrong path type shit, so mm. keep going. Just stick to it. Yeah. For you, what are some things that you feel like you should innovate in your music? That's a good question. Damn. Honestly, I think I need to like, I'm, they be telling me this shit all the time, I'm gonna say this. I need to uh, be, I need to carry my music more into my life and my life more into my music type shit. Mm. He used to be like, yo, you gotta act more how you rap. But my boy, Javi, is him. I be, I, y'all can't see who that is. Javi, shout out Javi. Fucking, he was like, bro, you like, how you be rapping, how you be acting, it's like weird, it's different. Yeah. But like, I know you, so I can see it, you feel me? But like, they don't type shit, you gotta make them understand. So like, when it comes to that, I be, I be knowing, but they don't be knowing. So the biggest thing I could say is creating a, uh, a translation where people from this world or this world or this time could fuck with it. Yeah. Film. And just to capitalize, uh, um, capitalist, capitalize this, um, for you, I know I've asked this numerous of times, you know, what, what does it take for us to get on the map? But for you personally, um, you know, we can agree that everybody, it takes everybody to get on top. But for you, what are some things that will allow you to, to reach that point of satisfaction? What you mean, like? As far as, you know, music or just, you know, Finances, it don't matter, but what, what do you think it will take for you to get to that point of satisfaction? Of, you know, comfort or, you know? Uh, I, yeah. First of all, people need to be, like, more comfortable with being like, bro, you did a good job. I like that. Or, I see what you're doing. Keep working. Like, feel me? Just little shit that'll help you. You feel me? Because everybody's too fixated on their own shit and worried about, well, if they're working at this pace, I got to work 10 times faster. Nah, yeah. bro, do you. Feel me? Work on your own pace? If we support each other, if you need, like, if, if, let's say, I say I got a date coming or an album dropping or whatever, yep. and my shit's not done, and you got some shit coming too, most niggas, or most people, would, like, be abrasive to that, like, they ain't gonna, oh, that fuck that nigga, I gotta top that, I gotta that. You could be like, bro, I see you, let's do something, let's promote type shit. Let's get on the track. Niggas see our names out there. Feel me? One leads, one thing leads to the other. Dominoes start falling. You feel mm -hmm. me? Or I see you got a brand going. I'm going to post it. Da 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 da. Outside, you do this. Da 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 da. Unless, you feel me? But niggas is like, they want to be the only one who could achieve success. And that shit's gay. <laughs> Not scratch that. <laughs> niggas want to be the only one who su achieves success. And that shit's dumb as hell. Like, yeah. like it's weird. I never was like that. I, if you if you are passionate about something and I can respect you and what you're doing, I want you to get where you want to go, period. Right. And I'm going to not only say that, I'm going to do what I can within my capacity to help you get there. Right. For real. All right. Now we'll capitalize um, that interview with you. Right. And it was a pleasure speaking with you, man. Show sure, always. Always. And you already know the deal. Um, hopefully y'all got a feel of Star Child and who he is as an artist as well as a man. Um, with that being said, guys, uh, make sure that you guys like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Um, also, follow my man on social media, as sure. well as do but don't on social media, Twitter, Instagram, They're as well as right on here. your side, Twitter, Instagram. So you already know the deal. Um, that's it. Twinkle, twinkle, yeah. little star till you shine bright Navigate your way through the dark to the limelight I've been in the dark for a while, but it's...